Clinical trials are how we find out if potential treatments work and how safe they are for the people who need them. All trials try to answer specific questions about a treatment, like How much of the treatment should patients take? How often should they take it? And what are the side effects? How much does it help people with a disease? Every trial is different. So what might it be like if I'm in one? First, the doctors make sure you can join the trial. Each clinical trial has requirements about who can be in it to make sure the doctors get accurate results. Before you and your parents or guardians give your permission to be in the trial, you need to know all about it. Every clinical trial has a process where the doctors will explain the trial and you're able to ask whatever you want. What kinds of questions should I ask? You'll need to know things like, what am I getting? How long will it take? Will it hurt or could I get sick? This process is called informed consent. It's really important that you understand a trial and that the doctors know you understand. Okay, so once I understand everything about a trial, then can I join? Once the doctors have your permission, they'll need to know more about your health, so they'll ask questions or do tests. They do this to make sure you can stay in the trial. Got it. So what do I get when I'm in a trial? It could be a lot of different things, like maybe a pill, a vaccine, or possibly no treatment at all. You might get this treatment once or a bunch of times, this process could take months or years. Doctors will check on you throughout the trial to make sure you're feeling okay and to see how the treatment is working. You might need to travel to the trial site. You might be able to use your phone, tablet, or computer to have virtual visits with doctors. Or maybe a nurse will visit your home. And if I join a trial and want to leave, I can do that, right? Right. You can leave at any time for any reason. The doctors can also ask you to leave the trial. What happens when I'm done? Once the doctors don't need to give you any more treatment, they'll still check in to make sure you're doing okay. Then, the doctors in the research company look at the results. They see how the treatment affected you and the other participants. Cool, so what happens next? Does the treatment go right to the pharmacy? Well, they might do more clinical trials, or they might let government experts decide if it works and is safe enough for people to use. Sometimes, they need to start from the beginning and try a different treatment altogether. Even if the treatment doesn't work, every clinical trial helps doctors get one step closer to making treatments that can help people. Our last video explains what to expect if you're in a trial and some of the treatments you might get. Watch to find out.